Hey everyone, it's Ben Hart here, and in today's we're gonna be going over the all new Camaro LT1 convertible. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Chevy here in Murray, Utah, for giving me some time with this Camaro. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you guys can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask for Nick and Gage, and they'll be more than happy to help you out. And something that's awesome about the Chevy here in Murray, by the way, is they do not charge over MSRP for any of their vehicles, including specialty product like the Silverado ZR2 and the C8 Corvette as well. So. If you want a great deal on a Chevy, definitely reach out to them. And then on a side note, if you can save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a Natchi aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy 16 around town and then 26 on the highway with power plus being 455 horsepower and then 455 pound feet of torque. And it looks like we have a little friend chilling under the hood. Now, before we go over the front end of the LT1, I do want to mention if you want to see more reviews just like this, then I recommend that you subscribe because I post reviews on a daily basis of a variety of different cars. So if that's something you're interested in, subscribe. Anyways, you guys can see here, we've got this blacked out element here in the center of the hood. Sorry about my shadow right there, but it's their venting piece, which is really cool. From an aesthetic perspective, obviously it's also functional. And then here's a quick look at the lights. You guys can see the daytime running light actually kind of continues there into the grill. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's definitely interesting. And then we've got our RS logo here on the front end as well. You got the blacked out Chevy bow tie and then notice everything down below is also blacked out and the white and the black kind of freak out the camera filter a little bit. So sorry about that. But there's the front end. Coming on the side here, tire wheel setup is 245, 40, 20 in the front and in the rear as well. And you guys can see the wheels are all blacked out, which is really cool. And if we pop a little bit closer, you guys can see here with the red brake caliper, which kind of adds to the aggression of the car, at least from an aesthetic perspective. And then we have our LT1 badge here, which I think looks pretty neat. And this is where you guys can see it is a convertible and something that's very interesting that i also want to try to figure out in today's video is if this loaded up lt1 is worth it or if you should get more baseline because that's like 40 grand this one is well we'll go over the price later but it's a lot more expensive than 40 grand so here's our key fob for this lt1 camera you guys can see chevy bow tether on the back we have a bunch of functions here on the front unlock lock remote start and that's actually the opening for the top if you do it from the key fob and then you also have the opening for the trunk so we'll just quickly pop that now one downside about the Camaro trunk is the opening is pretty small. And then a downside about the convertible is the fact that the storage space is a lot smaller compared to, well, the non-convertible. You guys can see you've got like this to kind of block things out so that you don't, um, well, put things where the top would end up ultimately going. And so, yeah, not the greatest from a storage space perspective in terms of Camaro storage. But anyways, finishing things up with the rest of the rear here, you guys can see we've got this spoiler here on the back, which looks pretty dang sweet they got the blacked out chevy bow tie and then we have the new style taillights which i think look pretty cool as well and then look how aggressive these exhaust tips are at the bottom and then another rs badge there on the other side and well i guess since we're out here let's try the uh top thing so we'll just hold this down i suppose so i've actually never done the top thing before but i'm guessing the car is to be started up so i'm going to remote start it first okay now I'm going to hold down the top button. Maybe if I, well it doesn't say double click, but I guess I'll double click it and then hold it down. Okay, that's not doing anything either. So I guess I'll get like closer. Okay, I guess that we, um, I'll turn it off. I'll lock it, see if that helps out. Still doesn't work. Okay, we'll unlock it. Hold it. Ah, there we go. So you have to unlock it, hold it. Let's see what happens if I let go. It stopped. Okay, I have to hold it again. So if you let go at all, then it stops the whole process. So I guess we'll unlock it again and then hold it down more. So you have to hold it down the whole time and then it'll do it. Huh. I know it's kind of a silly thing to put in a video, but like, I wanted to see, and I guess you guys can now see what it looks like with the top down. Pretty nifty, if I do say so myself. I still prefer the look of the coupe to the convertible, but obviously you get more exhaust noise with this and 
you know, you get to feel the wind through your scalp. Yes, I am going to say scalp because I feel like this is the perfect car for someone who is of a more experienced age. Let's just say that. Now, going over the door panel here at the front, it's actually hard to touch plastic here at the top, but where you rest your arm is nice and soft. You guys can see the stitching goes throughout. And then here's a quick look at the window controls here. Notice that you've got the two different sets of windows. So this is for the front windows to roll them up or down. And then if you press this, this will do the rear windows. So, and if you guys are wearing, they're just like these little side windows. I'll show you guys when we pop in. Got your mirror adjustments. Here's a quick look at the mirrors themselves. Speaker for the Bose sound system. And well, you can see this one has the leather interior. Um, so that's a big plus. That one has a cloth interior. So there's a difference, but it still has the gray here on either side, perforated. Uh, now the one benefit about the convertible is you can actually fit people in the back if you have the top down because in the normal Camaro, the roof is so sloped that there's no headroom. But in this, well, you have a lot of headroom. Leg room though, is still pretty cramped. Now going over the front seat, you can see that it's actually different from the back seat. So the back seat is like, you've got like the leather inserts here. The front seats, you have like Alcantara inserts because these are the Recaro seats. It's kind of interesting there's a difference between them, but perforated here in the center. And you guys can see down below, really nice bolstering overall. You've got your power adjustments here on the side of the seat and then the pedal layout. And then you guys can see steering wheel is manually adjustable. Let's pop in. So first thing we're gonna do is actually close the top. So we just press this button here and you can see it does the whole pop thing. Do, do, do. And then it says, make sure you don't have your hand there. It's pretty fast actually, to be honest. Not too shabby. And then folding motion complete. Now again with the windows, so I can roll up the front to here, but notice that the back windows still closed. So I press that rear button and that'll roll those ones down. So then it's all complete. So here's our steering wheel for this Camaro. You guys can see nice leather trim all around. You got the contrasted stitching there. Volume controls. You got those for your favorite buttons, whatever you set those to. And then we've got our cruise control here. Controls for the center stack, voice command, phone controls, paddle shifters there for that 10 speed automatic. Turn signal light stock, windshield wiper stock. There's the steering wheel. So here's a center gauge cluster. As you guys can see, we are out of fuel, but anyways, analog gauges on either side. You can scroll through these menus, see different bits of info on the car. And we do have some different drive modes. We have a snow ice, a sport, and then a touring. When you're in touring mode, wait for it, it actually quiets the exhaust down. Um, so this does have an active exhaust. Sport mode, however, opens up the valve, so it's a little bit louder. If you wanna hear some fun exhaust action, go watch my review on that uh, LT1, but there's the gauge cluster. So here's our infotainment screen. First off, if we pop it into reverse, we've got a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel, and hopefully you guys can see those. As for the rest of the infotainment screen, response time is actually really solid. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is great. You got a little shortcut bar here at the bottom, then you have these physical buttons down below to control more elements, and so, yeah, it all comes together. We've got our climate controls here in this area. You actually twist the vent to change the temperature, which is definitely fun. And then this is for the fan speed. This does have just a single zone climate system. And then here's our shifter for that 10 speed automatic. It does have a manual shift function. So just click it over there. You can use the shifter or you can use the paddle shifters, whatever you prefer. And then we have our drive mode select here, stability control. That's for parking brake and then little outlets. And then you can see here with the cup holders and then the center console. Now that's a nice stitching and padding here on top of that. And then also on the dash, there's a glove box. And then we already talked about the top, but it's a soft top. So here's our window sticker for this 2023 Camaro LT1 convertible. So first off, you guys can see we've got our three or 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty and then five year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. Now, something that I find uh, interesting here is you guys can see we've got performance suspension lined with slip differential and then it says Brembo performance brakes. On that Camaro, they advertise that it has Brembo brakes like on the brake calipers. On this one, they don't. So it's it's weird that like with the different, you know, packages, they'll like advertise that it has Brembo brakes or not, even though they all have Brembo brakes. Um, but base MSRP is $41,800, which is a lot more than the Coupe. Uh, for the Coupe LT1, the base price is actually $34,000. So you pay quite a bit to get this soft top convertible action. And this does have some options, including the Recaro performance bucket seats, 1500 
bucks, which is actually pretty reasonable because Ricardo's, I think, yeah, if you just buy those yourselves, you'd be spending just as much money. Um, after all options on this, $50,270. So it's literally $10,000 more than the coupe. And so I guess what I'd have to uh, say is you have to really, really want the top down action to go for this over the coupe because, like, yeah, $10,000 more. And, and again, like I get it, like you get to hear more of the engine because you can have, you know, the top down, you can have the little side window down and all that kind of stuff. I understand that aspect of it, but I guess if it were my money personally, I'd be leaving in the black one, not this uh, white convertible, sadly. That's because something's up with our video here on this LT1 convertible. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Chevy here in Murray for giving me some time with this car. Ask for Nick or Gage if you have any questions. I'll see you.